You know, today is deadline day. It's the last day to get this thing moved out. It's we peeked in here. We see some silverware. M, M, M. All these have M's on them. M, 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 M. And now this looks terrible. Absolutely despicable. Ooh, I've not opened this yet, you guys. All right, it's definitely it's defective, okay? It's definitely something's wrong with it. We'll try to get that fixed before we sell it, but... All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? Back at the unit. I got my trailer here. You know, today is deadline day. It's the last day to get this thing moved out. It's been two weeks. The guys here have been super, super cool about giving us more time. And we really appreciate that because this one took more time. It's just so much stuff. And I'm not complaining. It's been great. If you guys are new to the channel, we bought this locker for 50 bucks and it was full. It's a 10 by 20, 50 bucks. Why did we get it so cheap? Because no one showed up at the auction. It's a very rare occurrence. There's only one stop on the auctioneer's route and there's only one unit there. And a lot of people said, I'm not making it out there for that. Well, lucky for me, we live in the area and we didn't miss it. Although we almost did. Also a very fun locker for me to go through, but I think also for you guys to watch, right? I don't know even know what part this is gonna be, part seven, part eight, I don't know, but good stuff coming out. I know there's more good stuff in there too. So I'm gonna get to it right now, load this trailer. Cause I'm, I'm limited on time, believe it or not. I've got the full day, but this is gonna take me a long time. All right, let's get to it. Making some progress. Also making the trailer tall. <laughs> I'm not getting on the freeway. I'm just going to go across town to my unit and unload. But yeah, it's a little bit taller than I'm comfortable with. I still have a lot, a lot to go. It's starting to make me a little concerned because I've got two loads. Do I have space to put it all? I don't know. So, but this is good. Check this out. I cleared these as Chevron cars, Chevron cars, Chevron cars, Chevron cars, Chevron cars. Before, I'd only seen the top box or two. So there's a whole bunch of Chevron cars there. But over here, we've got a whole bunch of Christmas decorations. This is a tough sell in March, guys. Tough sell. I mean, if you bring it to the market and price it really, really low, it'll go. But, um, and of course, if we have really nice vintage stuff, then uh, that there's still value and that would actually be worth hanging on to and waiting till the season. But I don't see that. Uh, I'll have to look closer, but a ton of Christmas stuff. More Christmas stuff. Gift bags for Christmas. Um, looks like those might be different. Here's Valentine's stuff. I already took out a bunch of boxes with Halloween stuff. So, uh, but yeah, stuff looks good. I'm getting down to it. There's not a lot of mystery left of what's in here. This corner still is hiding some secrets. This is a mini fridge right here. So we'll get that out and take a look at that. Back of a microwave, this will go to E-Cycle. Nice little uh, boom box there. A couple of subwoofers or woofers. And uh, with a nice plexiglass display. This is interesting right here. Uh, we peeked in here, we see some silverware, meaning silver, silverware, probably silver plate, but I haven't got too far in that, so we'll look at this closer later. See a case right here. See some kind of wood thing here. I think that's a dartboard, but you never know. It could still be a big fat safe back in the corner or something, you know? Here's the hoping, but getting down to it. All right, well, I'm in this corner. I've dug in and no safe. <laughs> I know I'm dreaming, come on. Uh, but M, 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 all these have M's on them. M, 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 M. Uh, that is their last name, the initial of their last name. So that could be it or it could be something else. Um, I don't know the wife's name. It could be the first letter of the wife's name too. I think she passed away before the guy. So it could be she passed away and he started this unit with her stuff in the backest farthest corner no that's not a word and that's why maybe she her thing was the christmas decorations and that's why those are also in deep i don't know okay that might shed a little light on it pants and shirts that might be it but you never know here's the hoping shoes and shirts oh, there's the progress there's the second load that's what i got for a second load most of that stack over there is books that's going home we're gonna have to look those up over here is donation, donation. We'll probably donate the sewing table, that's what that is. And then uh, this stuff will bring down to metal recycling and e-cycle. Look at this thing. I love lockers like this where everything's in a box. 
because uh, it's easy to stack. It goes a little quicker, but wow, is that not a huge cube right there? Huge cube. Hopefully it all fits in my storage. Here we got the table. This didn't come from the unit, I brought this over. But uh, a few things. Look at this bag of hats right here. It's got a whole bag of hats. Looks like some nice, some, you know, I don't know if it's nice or not. Oh, there's a Kango. Oh, there's another Kango right there. Okay, yeah, those are nice. There'll be some nice stuff in there. So, pretty good. Now I gotta tie down and get over to my unit and repeat in reverse by unloading. Yay. Whew, done. Done. Feels great. So this is the locker I rented. This is also a 10 by 20. There's all the stuff from the train unit. I had to pile it up a little bit. You can see, I don't know. It started to blend a little bit together back there. I know what it is, but you guys probably can't tell. But I'm kind of proud of myself. I got, I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to fit that in here. It didn't even take up half the space that I have. And I have plenty of room here for the table so I can set up the tripod and start filming it. I'll tell you what guys, everything in this entire locker has not been filmed. I take that back. There's a little bit of stuff over here in the train locker that has been filmed and got mixed in. We'll have to figure that out. But everything over here has not been filmed and almost everything over here has not been filmed. We have a lot of videos coming up and it's really good stuff in here. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm just glad to be done, almost done with the really, really hard part, which is cleaning that unit out. I gotta go back right now to get the donation in the dump and then I'll, then I'll really be done. All right, just got back to the unit. This is unbelievable. It's actually raining again. It's getting really, really tiring working in the rain. So I just started loading a few boxes of books on there and it started raining, so I threw the tarp over it. And then I checked the weather. I didn't think there was supposed to be any rain again today. It's so weird. You see over there? Look over there. You can see up there, blue skies, no clouds. But right here, we got dark clouds. It's so bizarre. I live over in that direction. There's no rain there. It's clear. For some reason, this little valley that we're in, which is only about 20 miles away, is getting almost thought I heard thunder. It's just an airplane. It's getting its own weather system with the rain. I wish I had a covered trailer. I wish I had a covered trailer. I wish I had a covered trailer. Well, time to stop wishing and make that plan take action. Right. Boom. Done. Empty. Not an easy feat. <laughs> Not an easy feat. Uh, well, I tarped this off right here. So, you know what I plan to do? I think I'm just going to take it all to my storage since I have so much room. I'm going to put it in there. I got stuff to go with donation. I think I'm just going to sort it. That stuff right there is going to garbage. That big piece of glass. Garbage bags. It's more files and stuff. Not that much going to, go to the dump. But uh, this thing, Christmas ornaments and donation stuff primarily. There's a few other things on here, but I think that's going to go to my unit. I'm kind of beat. I need to work on a video. So I think I'm just going to put that in my storage, get home, start getting caught up on other stuff. But, uh, whoo, that feels good. It feels so good. And I'd say this locker is done, but it is far from done. We got so much stuff to go through and uh, sort and research. It's going to be a lot of fun still. I'm looking forward to that part. All right, done. And now this looks terrible. Absolutely despicable. This is not organized. This is not how I roll. So, you know, I'll be back here before long to start getting this mess taken care of. I want my table back. I want an aisle. And I think it's going to be easy because a lot of this will go to uh, charity. We'll donate it. All right, guys. So that's it for uh, for now, though. I'm pooped. I got to get this trailer back. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to dump. And uh, then I don't know what. Start shipping the boxes tomorrow from our auction. And then back here very soon to start processing and filming. You'll see what we find. All right. All right, guys, we're back at the nut house. Wow, what a long day that was. I can't tell you, um, you saw how much volume I moved. It actually didn't look like that much, but two full loads in the trailer, loading it up, driving it, emptying it out, and then to the dump at the end of the day. So whew, it was a lot of work. Um, I'm happy to be done with it. I always feel this sense of peace and relief once everything's moved over, but I did bring a few things back to the house. I didn't want to spend a lot of time filming because I knew I was, uh, I knew I was just stretching myself that day physically and mentally. I think I fell asleep at like 8.30. It was a long day, but I got a few things put aside. Let's take a closer look at those because I think there was some interesting stuff and there's still all those boxes in the storage yet to go through, but let's take a peek at these. Right, first up, we've got this flag. So... 
This definitely looks like a flag that would have been issued to somebody who served in the military, which is interesting because I didn't really see, I don't remember seeing too much evidence uh, that anyone served, but it could have been, it could have been I'm just forgetting. Nice piece. Uh, really not sure what to do with this at this point. So I'll tell you more about this guy's story, what I've learned about him, but uh, we definitely believe that he passed away and we definitely believe there's no family. I think for now, this is just gonna go in my garage and sit for a while, just in case anyone comes forward from his family and wants to collect it. Uh, we'd be happy, honored to give that to them. Otherwise, I don't really know. Do you sell these? What do you do with them? I'm not sure. Um, I don't think I've really even found one of these before. I think I found one and I gave it back to the facility because they were in contact with the owner. All right, next up we've got what appears to be a camera bag. Really nice bag, leather. Uh, has a really nice look to it. Vintage for sure. So we found that one other bag that looks similar to this, but it was much smaller. And uh, we still have it somewhere. Ooh, I've not opened this yet, you guys. So this is like the other one. It's got that nice green, definitely like 70s looking inside. We've got a few cameras in here. Let's see, this is a lens right here. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is a zoom lens. And, huh, it's a zoom lens, but it does have a macro setting. I think this is for getting really close up. So what's this? Uzunon MC Auto Telezoom. Hmm, very cool. Sometimes these lenses can be worth more than the cameras, but I've not had a, too much success with them. Not too much. And what's this? Huh, a little filter. Look at that. It's blue. It's pretty neat. Polarizer, cult. All right, I thought there was a couple cameras in here, but this is just one huge camera. My goodness, look at this. Huh. Professional. How do you hold this thing? Um, Mamiya, huh? Wow, this thing is... Crazy huge. This is definitely looks like a professional camera. I do not know much about these types of cameras, and I like the mount right here. This thing is pretty interesting. I bet you we could take that off and use it for just about anything. It's not terribly comfortable in my hand, though. Um, and is there a button or something missing right here? I'm not sure. It feels like it would be a right place for a button. Let's just say. Stitz, and look at that, Seikosha, S. Definitely sounds Japanese. This is a nice piece, oh, right here. Mamiya C33. Wow, that's cool. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, this is the kind where you look down in it. Pretty cool. There's a couple other things in here too, though. All right, this is just a lens case. Definitely vintage. Diffu diffusion, it's a 40.5, another one cult. It's a strap. It's another little part for the camera, I would think. It's a little, um, oops, like sun visor, lens cap, Vivitar. So that's, that's what's in there. A nice little bag right there. I bet you this bag's worth some money too. Okay, if you remember, we found this Erector set a few videos ago, and um, it appears to have some really cool parts. And um, but obviously not the original packaging, right? Much more modern containers that they used. I think what the real value is here is uh, this piece right here. It's the motor. I looked on eBay and these, if you have the motor, this thing is where the money is. So anyways, we found this, but check this out. Okay, we also found this box right here. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Look at that. I think this is the original box. And it's in kind of rough shape. Uh, which is probably why it's in here by itself. Lots of uh, masking tape done to shore up the edges. 
hasn't done enough to protect it from the time, you know, the, the perils of time. But, wow. Look at this. Look at the string. I have to think that was probably aftermarket. <laughs> but the label here looks pretty. Look at that. It's really bright color, vivid color. It's not like faded or anything where it's been left out in the sun. This probably hasn't seen too much light of day. And this is what we have, right? Because we recognize the tower, the little hut. There's the engine motor. Um, hopefully we have most of the pieces, but I see those recognizable pieces there. So this is number seven and a half engineer set. Sensational new erector. Very, very cool. All right, now we've got this uh, dartboard. I'm almost positive it's a dartboard. Be careful. I don't want to mark the wood. It seems to be like it's in really good shape. Uh, at least from what we can see, let's take a peek. Obviously, I haven't looked in here yet. It's been uh, it's been closed up. So I like dartboards. I unfortunately don't have a good place to hang one here because my garage is so full. Oh wow, this is a really nice one. Really, really nice. Okay, it looks like we got some decent darts here too. They feel pretty nice. Good. Time for a bullseye. Close. Close. Come on. Yeah, got it. <laughs> this is a nice board, really. What do we got here? We got a whole bunch of... That's a plastic tip dart right there. I wonder if you use that for this or if that's for an electronic dart board. We got all these different tails and stuff. Nice stuff. Of course, these guys had nice stuff all around. These look like they are special Halix. Let's see if they're any more accurate. Nope. Close. All right, it's definitely it's defective. Okay, it's definitely something's wrong with it. We'll try to get that fixed before we sell it. But um, joking aside, I'm gonna sell this locally, and I'm probably gonna do it very soon because oh, oh, oh I fixed it. It works now. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna get this on the market. I think today. Okay. Last item we're gonna go through, silverware box. We already peeked. Let's take a closer look. So, oh, yeah. So 1847 Rogers Brothers. We've had Rogers Brothers lots of times and that is a silver plated 1847 Rogers Brothers IS. I think that's international silver. See that? Flare, that might be the uh, style of this particular set. It's a nice looking set. Got like a little bit of tarnishing on it, which you'd expect to see when it's, you know, silver plated. All right, nice. Got a big silver serving spoon here. Same thing. Uh, this is a pretty decent set right here. I'm not sure what goes here, but that's good right there. That's pretty good. Let's see what we got here. We looked at this before, I think. Maven off camera. All right, what's this? What is this? Got a lot of markings here. G48, I'm not sure what this one is. Do you guys know what that is? Ah, that's cool. Silver cloth prevents tarnishing. Seems to have worked because I don't, that one's not tarnished really. Is that pure silver? That is the million dollar question or maybe $100 question because it's probably 100 bucks if it's real. I mean, when I say real, I mean solid, sterling. And instead of silver plate. See, so here's another Rogers Brothers. This is most likely silver plate. We'll look it up and make sure. Uh, I don't know about this, though. This has a different feel. It's got some initials right here. I think this might be solid silver. It's uh, fairly worn there, so it's hard to see any markings. The markings are there. Tarnish resisting chest. Tested and approved by the laboratories of the International Silver Company. So something about this prevents tarnishing. I didn't know that existed. I don't know that much about silver sets because um, I haven't found very many. Very cool. All right, I think this is a good little find. All right, you guys, another great day going through this locker. I mean, I didn't have that much time to actually go through stuff. It was mostly spent laboring, moving it all. But I'm relieved that it's done because now it's in my locker. I can take my time 
and uh, we're going to be going through it, all right, together, you and me, okay? It's going to be fun. I think there's still a lot of good stuff to be discovered. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really enjoying the soccer. You know what's kind of funny? I almost enjoy the soccer more than I enjoy the train one, and the, we know the train one is epic. It's probably the best soccer I've ever been a part of, but we already know that. We expect that. This one, I think, is so special because I really wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was, and... Uh, and we just kind of stumbled on this thing, right? The only ones at the auction, we almost missed the auction. It's just one of those, almost like a fairy tale, you know? Like the old, uh, you know, ugly duckling turns into prince or princess type story. I love those stories. It's like a Disney story. All right, keep in mind that a lot of this good stuff that you see coming out of the locker recently is gonna be in our Monday night auction. We do an auction every Monday night at 6 p.m. We do actually a live show, but the second segment, which has become the fan favorite, is the auction. If you guys haven't been to one of our auctions yet, uh, check it out. Mondays, 6 p.m. Pacific, every week. And uh, don't think that you're gonna miss it if you're like 6.45, 7 o'clock, you're like, oh, dang it, I missed it. Uh -uh. We go, we, <laughs> we've been going for hours because we've had so much good stuff and um, there's a lot of people on, there's a lot of bids, there's a lot of people who are finding great stuff and good deals on the auction. So please, please join us. The next video will be out soon. I'm going back to that unit and doing some digging. Let's start with those Christmas ornaments, see if we got anything good. And also I got to get all the thrift store stuff out the way so I can get in that unit because... Yeah, it's pretty, I left it pretty messy, and I don't like that. But we'll get to it. All will be cleaned up. But until then, good luck to you guys. God bless you. Stay safe. Stay sane. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts.